Welcome back to Performance TV. We're back in the studio. And you know, diesel trucks are even more popular than ever. So is upgrading them. Check out this grill. But performance, that's really what we're looking for. And Kathy has something that's going to help us accomplish that. Oh man, do we have lots of choices when it comes to any of your diesels. And that's why we have Glenn here with us today from Engineered Diesel. Glenn, you guys have been around since 2009 and have something for everyone when it comes to diesels. You bet, we sure do. We carry everything from uh, your fuel injectors, modified fuel injectors, uh, modified fuel injection pumps, turbochargers, custom engines. We're going to start right off with the injectors. You guys have a complete line for no matter what your, your diesel truck. Yes, uh, we have stock replacement injectors up to injectors that will support 2,500 horse. You know, well, we have a, a 2006 Dodge truck in here today with the six-cylinder Cummins, and one of the problems that folks run into when they do change the injectors, they don't change these, Glenn. Exactly. That's probably our number one warranty is the debris coming from the cross-feed tubes. And just using the stock ones because they get a lot of crud in there. They do, uh, especially in the northern climates. Rust is the number one enemy of your fuel injection system. So you're going to be spending some time and some money just to do it right to start with, I mean. Exactly. And from that, you also have a kit. Now, if folks want to just do the injectors, they can, but it's probably better off to get the kit that even comes with a tool. Yes, we offer a complete install kit. It comes with all the gaskets, the, the feed tubes, the injectors, and the, the tool to remove the feed tubes. Rust is, once again, the problem there. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's definitely not a friend to anybody. Okay, so we have the injectors, but we got to get the fuel to them because they are definitely going to be hungry. And you guys have that completely covered. You bet. We offer several different sizes of improved CP3s, which is the high pressure pump on a common rail fuel system. Starting off with our improved stock, essentially just allowing the pump to put out more in the higher RPMs where normally you would fall off with a programmer or small set of injectors. Moving up, we have our 10 millimeter stroker pump then our 12, and then now our 14 millimeter. And it just depends on, you know, what you're going to be doing with the truck, what type of horsepower, and what the 14 millimeter supports all the way up to, like, what, 1,350 horse? That's correct. Yep, yeah, that's, we uh, like that's talking about That's the big daddy. Yes, we do. And some of the things that you guys have done at Engineered Diesel with the pumps, we may not be able to necessarily see from the outside. From the outside, they look very similar. You couldn't tell the difference from a stock pump to our 14 millimeter stroker pump. Once you get it on the truck, that's a different story. Okay, that's what we like to hear. And you know what? We already have one of the really cool pumps on the truck, but we're going to go from a 12 to a 14. Glenn, can you go ahead and give me a hand with this? You bet. What are we going to need first? Let's start off with a three-quarter inch wrench. Quarter, here you go. Now, if I'm not that a mechanical engineer, can I uh, do this job? Oh, definitely. This is a job that you can do in your driveway at home. If I don't like working on my cars, can I have you do it? You sure can. You can give us a call, schedule an appointment, and we can take care of it for you. Killer. The double turbos you've got on there, that's a killer little setup there. That's part of your 1,200 products. You bet. Your website must be a mile long. It is. But we spend a lot of time to make it easy to uh, navigate. So I can just go there and pop in my credit card and order anything I want. You bet. As long as we have the order by 4 o'clock, it typically ships out the same day. Oh, same day, too. So you actually have a shop where you bolt on the products that you sell. So if anybody knows it's going to work, it's you. That's for sure. Everything we sell on our site is products we use every day. Huh. I like this uh, valve cover, too. Yeah, we have uh, in-house CNC machining. We make all of our parts in-house. Whoa, so you don't order anything. You make all of your products. Exactly. OK, well, we've just about got that out of there, maybe? Just about. All right, so it shouldn't take too long to get out of there. When we come back, we'll put our new one in. You all stay tuned to Performance TV. Welcome back to Performance TV. We've got our 12 millimeter fuel pump off. We're putting our 14 millimeter fuel pump on. Glenn, when we're sticking that on, um, what helpful handy hints do I need? Well, we're gonna wanna put some grease on this O-ring here so that it'll slide into the housing nicely. And lining it up so uh, not too tough? Lining it up can be tough sometimes. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you push uh, all the wire harness and stuff out of the way. Give you as much room to work with as you can. So when I'm doing this, it, do I have any like fuel leaking out or anything? No, you should cap off all your fuel lines uh, as you take them off so that you don't get any dirt in um, while you're doing the installation. Uh, so when I was helping you there, I uh, pulled off one of the pulleys or something with this little guy. What is this? That bolts onto the front of the cam and pulls the taper loose on the gear that drives the pump. So uh, just order that separately when uh, I'm getting my kit from you. You bet. Then another thing I noticed is that I took off this. What's this? That's the cover that uh, goes on the front 
timing cover to cover the nut that holds the gear on. Uh, and, and it's just plastic. It's plastic and they break. But you uh, made this out of CNC also. Yeah, we CNC that out of uh, 6061 aluminum and you can torque that up without fear of cracking. Oh, half inch bolt? Yep. Cool. Is uh, any of that stuff metrics or is that all standard? Pretty much everything on the newer diesels are metric. All right, uh, so how's that going? Oh, she slid in beautiful. Oh, killer. And the O-ring didn't give you any problems? Nope, not this time. We've got the pump all in, and uh, that just slides on some studs. You bolt it on, and then what's next? Uh, next, we torque the nut on the front of the pump. Ah, what are we torquing that down to? Uh, these torques to 65 foot-pounds. All right. So it's like, what, half an hour, 45 minutes to take out, half hour, 45 minutes to put it back together? First time, I would say that's pretty close. Yeah? Uh, then uh, bleeding it, I don't have to do anything special, really? Uh, just let the lift pump cycle and then crank it over. Huh, okay. And when I put my hoses back on, I just make sure I don't get any dirt in there because if I do, then I just ruin my new injector. Exactly. Cleanliness is very important. And they are a pretty penny. On my hoses, do I need to put Teflon tape on there or anything like that? No, you want to install those dry. Oh, I see, okay. AN fitting, so it's a tapered, you don't want any, uh, any kind of sealant or, or thread locker in there. Oh, I see, so the Army Navy uh, threading gets it down tough enough. Yep. All right, sounds good. You about done then? Yeah, we need right. the uh, access cover and we'll be all set. Access cover right here. Just a second, Kathy, and we're gonna have you prime that up. As soon as we get fingers out of the way, make sure we can count to 10. You don't torque that cover down to any wrench. Just snug it with a end wrench. And the same thing for all the hoses. Yep. Just nice and tight and nothing crazy. We need a half inch for that? Yes. Does that 13 millimeter work for us? Oh, you got it already, okay. All prepared. How many of those guys you sell? How many people you break these things? Quite a bit. Yeah, plastic, what are you gonna do? We all set? We're all set, Kathy. All right, well you can see that's a pretty easy install. If you wanna find out more, you go to engineer dash diesel.com and take a look at the 1200 products you need for your diesel truck.